What up nerds? In this video I want to cover the owner property inside of Godot. This video will be applicable to versions 3.x as well as 4.0 as this is a core way in Godot actually functions. Simply put, the owner property is the root node of a scene. When you create a new scene through the editor, this property gets set for you. If you are creating a new scene or new nodes dynamically through code and at runtime, uh, this property is not set for you and you have to set it yourself. So I have a couple scenes set up here to demonstrate the various uh, ways to interact with the owner property. So let's go ahead and go through them real quick. When I run this player scene, you should see this player node get uh, printed out as well as this node from nested. All right, and they do right down here, player and node from nested. And they're getting printed out from this animation player node. So when we look into that script, all I'm doing is accessing the owner, which is the root node of the scene. I'm printing its name. And then for the node from the nested node, I am getting the node starting from the owner. So I don't have to walk back up this tree right here by doing get parent, get parent, get parent, and then get parent, and then do my search from there. I can just start directly from the root node. Now, this is just a, a way to do it. You can also just export a node path and uh, do it that way. But this is demonstrating how you can use the owner as a way to query the scene tree that you're currently in. Now, if we take this information, we can apply it to the concept of components as well. And so in here, I have just some character, I have a components group, and then this is where all my components would be. Some people like organizing their scenes that way, so that's why I have it set up this way. And then I have my movement component, and this is going to be responsible for actually moving my character around. I have this exported variable that I can use and uh, tweak parameters and all of that. So if I look into the script, uh, I have this function defined that ex expects a direction. I just normalize it and then I alter the position of the owner directly. Now with this setup, all my owner node has to do is uh, get some kind of vector that it want, like some kind of direction, and then send it to that function. So my movement component is actually moving my character. So when I go in and play, I am moving my character through my movement component, and it is doing that strictly through the owner. And, you know, you don't have to do a get parent, get parent call because you can use the root node of the scene. Now, I do want to uh, let you know that by doing owner.position, uh, I am taking advantage of the dynamic nature of GD script. Uh, in a real world scenario, you would want this to be uh, have, have a couple more checks so it's more robust and you don't try and call a property on something that doesn't exist. And uh, so you like you don't want to try and move a rigid body uh, by, directly through its position. So I just want to make sure you guys are aware of that. All right. And now something else that we can do is in the main scene. So when I run this, we can see that I'm printing the player and the node from nested, and then I'm printing main. The player and node from nested come from the animation player that is inside of this scene. Because if we look here, we, we have that animation player because it is my player scene. And remember, the owner property is the root node of a scene. So for the animation player, its owner property is still player. Just because it was instanced in another scene doesn't mean it has a different owner. All right. But the player script checks if it has an owner, and if it does, it actually just prints out the name. That's where that main is coming from, okay? So, um, let me just delete this old scene so we don't run into any errors, because what I want to show you next is what the main script actually does. So I have this little section set up to save a scene, 
uh, that will to save my current scene and down here I have a couple other things so when I press page up I'm going to create a whole new node and then I'm gonna add it as a child all right when I press page down I'm gonna do the same thing but I'm adding the owner to reference the main node okay so when after I add it I'm setting the owner property to the main node that's what self is pointing to and then down here it's the same thing except I'm doing it with a scene because when you do call this instance method uh, it returns a reference to that new node all right to, well, to the root node of the scene okay so let's go ahead and pull up the remote tree so when I'm adding this we can see it happening so I press page up then I add that dynamic node when I press page down I add the, the other dynamic node remember the dynamic node 2 is the one that has the owner property set and then I'm going to go ahead and add my second player scene all right and remember that scene has its owner property set as well now I need to save it and uh, when we open this new scene it should not have this node right here the dynamic node all right it should have dynamic node 2 but not dynamic node so when we open this we can see it right here dynamic node 2 and this is the secondary player scene that I instanced okay now there is one other thing that I want to explore with you is in this scene right here if we look into the script here it does pretty much the same thing I'm creating a new dynamically created uh, node all right notice that I'm not calling add child then I'm creating another node but I am adding it as a child of this first node that I'm creating now when I call uh, well I'm also setting the owner so it can properly save to a scene now when I call pack pack expects the root node of a new scene okay which is why I'm not really uh, bothering with adding this as a child or adding it at, like ref adding uh, the owner property all right because it's going to be its own scene so when I run this and I go ahead and save it when I open this I have that newly created scene that was created entirely dynamically all right so again I want to uh, stress that the pack method expects the root node of a scene which is why up here I just get the current scene because it just returns the root node of that scene all right uh, that pretty much covers everything uh, so remember the owner property points to the root node of a scene you can do uh, a couple different things with that knowledge uh, the editor sets the property for you if you do things through code you have to set it yourself and uh, I do also want to mention that you should be setting this property after you add it as a child of something if it is a child node all right if you have any questions please let me know see you nerds